Here we come. Hi, Heather. I don't know, my phone said low network connection. What does that mean? I don't know, I hope things go smoothly tonight. I see everybody popping in now. Let me make sure my computer's going here. And I need to make sure that that is on silent. Hi, Becky, hi, Stella. Hi, Pat. Where are you guys coming to me from? Hi, Suzette. Karen, I'm in Wisconsin, by the way, if you didn't know that. I am located in um, northeast Wisconsin. I guess you could call it northeast Wisconsin. I'm about 40 miles south of Green Bay. Hi, Kathy from Sun Prairie. Diana from North Carolina. Janet, Carol, glad you could join us tonight. I've got Sandy, Mary Olson, welcome. Still over 90 in Parma Heights, Ohio. Well, Donna, it was over 100 here today. I have a fan going over there. I have a fan going up here. Um, we're a little weird here in our house. We have central air, but we don't like to turn it on. So there's a couple reasons. One of the reasons is that we like the windows open in the summer, and my husband and I both, thank goodness, love hot weather, love hot weather. So this is perfect for us. And second, if I turn my central air on because of our swimming pool, um, the, the most expensive thing about having a swimming pool is the electric bill because there's an electric pump on there. It doesn't even cost much to heat the water. That is nothing. But the electricity bill goes through the roof. So if I turn on my central air, my monthly electric bill will be over $400. Hi, Nikki Schmidt. Welcome, Shelby. So we don't have our central air on, so I've got fans going, and I'm actually quite comfortable. We've got Nancy and Annette from Wernersville, Pennsylvania. Hi, Cindy. I hope you're staying cool. I know you don't like this hot weather. Bonnie and Donna, Tammy, Linda, welcome. Patty is watching. Debbie from Indiana. Michael, welcome. I was going to tell a little funny story about my bra tonight, but now Michael's on. No, I think he'd get a kick out of this. So we spent the entire day outside. Like I went for my, I've been going for a bike ride. Oh, thanks, Kathy. I look cool and collected. I do feel, I am pretty comfortable. Um, I went for my daily bike ride. This is what I've been doing. I have been riding my bike down to the lake, up through a beautiful um, park we call Jefferson Park, right along Lake Winnebago, and then I go through the sketchy apartment buildings and meet up with the bike trail, and I ride it down to um, a wetlands preserve called Heckrot, and then I park my bike and I walk all the way around the outside of, in, inside this wetlands. They have all these like trails and um, boarded trails, like it's boards, a boardwalk kind of. And I walk all the way around the outside of that, jump on my back of my bike, take the same path all the way back by the lake and come home again. So this morning I got done and I was just dripping sweat because it was probably, I don't know, I don't get up too early, but it was probably about nine o'clock when I got back, maybe 10. <laughs> and um, I was just dripping wet. So I took off my tank top. I had a sports bra underneath, took off my tank top and just jumped in the pool. And it was so amazing. And I was up last night till about 2.30 in the morning getting ready for this Facebook Live and also shooting a couple videos because I'm going to be gone a portion of this week. And at 2.30 in the morning, I was dripping sweat. I mean, literally, I was probably having a hot flash too. Those are fun in the summer, right? For those of you that know about them, oh my Lord. Um, 2.30 in the morning, 
I went outside and jumped in the pool again. And when I went upstairs, yes, I have an upstairs bedroom. Hi, Kathleen Bryson. I'm excited to see you here. I miss you a lot. Um, I went upstairs to bed and my skin was just nice and cool to the touch. So we know how to deal with this hot weather and I do love it. And in fact, I love it so much that on Thursday, I am heading out with my stepdaughter and her two kids, my daughter and my daughter's boyfriend, and we're headed to Orlando. <laughs> Who goes to Orlando in June? We do. So that should be a lot of fun. We're going to Universal Studios. It was um, Haley's graduation gift is a trip to Florida. I thought that would be a really fun. She loves to travel. We've traveled all over the world together, so I thought that would be really fun. So we're going to Orlando where it's going to be super duper hot and humid. Love it. It's very humid here too. But hi, Arliss and Rhonda, welcome. Happy Father's Day, if we have any fathers watching. Michael, I don't know if you have any kids or not, but um, I just wanna say that we had a wonderful Father's Day. All the kids were here. Thanks, Kat. You're, she says, um, love these videos. Fun to see you on here, same time. Thank you very much. Um, we had most of the kids here, my my stepson was not here. He lives down south of Madison. But um, Stephanie, my stepdaughter Stephanie and Anna were both here with all their kids. And Haley was here. Jared came after he got done working. And we spent the entire day out by the pool. I'm a little sunburned, um, but that's okay. I, I love the sun, obviously. You guys know that, right? Oh, Shelby, your son's going to Florida tomorrow. Woohoo. Michael, you're a teacher. I did not know that. I think you told me something about if Haley had any questions to let you know. Awesome. So that's cool. Well, you have a lot of kids to be fatherly with, right? <laughs> so my husband had a great Father's Day. Um, I made a gift for him. I made a gift box and a matching card out of a paper pumpkin. Our, I think our last paper pumpkin kit. And that was on one of my videos that I did. And um, um, I gave him his Harley Davidson keychain that I bought when we were in Mexico. And then um, I got him a gift certificate to his favorite golf course around here. So he's probably going to go golfing tomorrow, and he's pretty excited about that. Patty loves the heat, too. Yay, Patty! Oh, thanks, Kelly. It looks like I've been kissed by the sun. You're so sweet. Um, okay, so what else has been happening? I'm still making swaps. Um, it's I, I have four more that I have to get done. So oh, I know I have a lot of work to do um, in the next couple days. Last week was really crazy for me because I had Stamp Club Monday night, Stamp Club Tuesday night. I had a home party in Suamico, which is by Green Bay, on Wednesday. We had a blast there. And then I had Stamp Club Thursday night, and I did a shoebox swap with my team of demonstrators on Friday night. So it was a very busy week for me. Now, this coming week, I have Stamp Club on Monday night and Stamp Club on Tuesday night, which I love. And I see some of my ladies that are going to be there are on here watching tonight. And then on... Um, Let's see, what's happening on Wednesday? Oh, Wednesday, Haley has kickball at 9 p.m. And then we're going to drive about, I don't know, it must be about 60 miles south of here to Stephanie's house and stay overnight there, if you can call it that. We're going to have to get up at 3 in the morning to be um, in Milwaukee early enough for our 6.05 flight on Thursday morning. Woohoo! So I sleep on airplanes, and so I will sleep the whole way to Florida. And then I'll be all perky and ready to roll. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Welcome. Okay. Um, let's see. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you need a new catalog, please pop me an email. My email address is kelly at a stampabump.com. And um, I'd be happy to send you one. And I will be going to Orlando again in November for our big Stampin' Up! on stage. This is what, they've changed the name of it, but it's our big convention. It's available to anybody who buys a discount shopper kit or um, the starter kit, discount shopper kit, whatever you're going to do with it. If you're going to build a business or be a discount shopper, you can register to come to this event in Orlando. It is Stampin' Up's 30th anniversary. They've been in business for 30 
years. And it's going to be a huge, huge event. Um, last time they had their 25th anniversary, they gave away so much stuff. We were in Salt Lake City for that, and it was amazing. So if anybody's interested in going to Orlando for the big on-stage event and you're not already a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to have you on my team. The kit's only $99. There's a whole bunch of details. I'm not going to get into it right now. Pop me an email, and I will hook you up with my link that tells you a bunch of questions and answers and all the goodies. So let's see, I wanted to share some cards that I got this week. So even though this card isn't homemade, it was still really special. I got this from my niece, Rachel, and this is us at her wedding in Mexico. That's what I went to Mexico for was um, my husband's niece got married and she sent us this beautiful photo card and look at that, there's her and her husband, how sweet is that? And then she also sent along a picture of the entire group. This is actually the photo that made me go on a diet. I'm right here and I went, oh my gosh, is that me? And yeah, it is. And I am down, I'm happy to say 12 pounds. Yes, um, my little bike ride is working and I am watching what I'm eating. There is nothing magical about losing weight. I've tried several different little magical things it's it's just not real you have to stop eating so much crap and you have to get some exercise to speed it up so that's what I'm doing and it's working so I'm pretty excited then I got this beautiful card I know Suzette I think you're on here watching tonight from Fort Myers Florida I can't remember the name of this set it is brand new oh there's Suzette thank you Suzette look at this gorgeous card this is beautiful. This is that Dreamcatcher set that's in the catalog. Suzette, what is the name of that set? I love this. And she even, look at, there's a real feather on here. Whoops, let me see if I can grab it. I know I can do this. Look at that. Look at that real feather. This is so pretty. I absolutely love it. And um, Suzette said, Kelly, when I saw this set in the catalog, it was my first thing on my have to have list. I know, I have things on my have to have list too. This is a beautiful stamp set. And um, she said she couldn't resist adding just one real feather. And this is just amazingly beautiful. So thank you, Suzette. I am going to set that right back here so I can enjoy it. And then what else? I was gonna show you. Um, if you guys, so I know some of you watch me live, but I don't know that all of you are um, following my blog. I post my blog every day, Monday through Friday. I don't post on the weekends. I used to do seven days a week, but you know what? Just got to be too much. Thank you about the weight loss. I'm pretty excited. Things are starting to fit better. Um, I still have a whole bin of shorts I can't wear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you gain 30 pounds since last fall. But um, this week I made, I have videos and I made these cards just in case you didn't see them. I know that I think the printing is maybe backwards when I hold them up like this, but it says uh, sending you healing vibes. And I love, love, love. This is called Healing Hugs. And this is our brand new tufted embossing folder. Oh, Sandy lives on an Indian reservation. Yes. Dream catchers are big on Indian reservations because they're so pretty. And I think that's who originally created them, isn't it? Um, then I did a really cool faux vellum technique. And these are the two cards that I made with that technique. All the details for this are on my blog, www.astampabove.com. Um, there's also a video tutorial showing you how to do the technique. But don't these look like vellum? And they're not. They're not vellum, they're embossed. And um, if you didn't watch my video, go watch it. It's super cool. <laughs> and then I had a real challenge this week. On our One Stamp at a Time blog hop, we were challenged to make a scrapbook page and then anything else to go with it. So I made this card, of course, using our abstract impression stamp set. You guys know that I have a online class featuring eight cards plus a bonus card. So nine different cards 
um, in my online class and you can get that two different options. You can pay me $20 or you can order the bundle of products from me and you'll get the $20 class for free. So if anybody's interested in that, um, leave a comment. Well, actually, yeah, going back through these comments is kind of hard. I try to go through all of them, but um, leave me a comment and I will get in touch with you to give you the link. It's on my blog. It's at the bottom of every single blog post that I have right now. And this is my scrapbook page using, yes, the abstract impressions. This is the springtime thinlets. I think that's what it's called. Springtime thinlets that go along with the abstract impressions um, stamp set. So I made this page. And of course, I would put photos here, 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 and here. Isn't this pretty? I had a blast with this. And so then it made me want to do scrapbooking again. <laughs> Do I have any scrapbookers out there? Make a comment. If you're a scrapbooker, say, I'm a scrapper. I want to know if I have any scrapbookers. I want to know that if I start doing a scrapbook page once in a while, are you guys going to be interested in that? So, well, Shelby, you can just copy mine. I'm sure your scrapbook pages look beautiful, too. But, um, let's see. I had... Oh, I've got some really fun little scrapbook pages here. I'll just show you a couple of my favorites. So when I was challenged to do that scrapbook page, I um, went down in the basement and got out my scrapbook pages. And here's some of my favorites. Hang on, I'm hooked on something. Here's some of my favorites that I made from a long time ago. Isn't this just gorgeous? This is like my favorite page ever. Oh, love it. And then here's a cutie patootie one. This is my daughter, Haley, at kindergarten graduation. Look how skinny I was. And this is at her high school graduation. So super, super fun. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. The stamp set is called Follow Your Dreams on page 54 for the card that Suzette made for me. Follow Your Dreams. This is just beautiful. I love it. Um, what else do I have? Oh. In honor of Father's Day, this is my daddy. My dad was a amazing man, and we lost him, I think, I five or six years ago. But um, one of our favorite things to do together was to go bear hunting, and this is us bear hunting. And that's my mom and my dad. And again, just a really fun page. What else do I have here? Oh, I think this, yep, this was on our Alaskan cruise. Me and Haley on our Alaskan cruise. We were getting ready to go out and explore the boat. Uh, let's see if I have any more with pictures. Um, I'm not going to show that one because that was Haley's old boyfriend and that wouldn't be cool. <laughs> you know, you know how that is. Oh, here's a sweet one. Look at this one. That's my chubby little baby. My daughter was so fat when she was little. She had four rolls on the insides of her thighs. And um, my mom and dad were truck drivers. So they got to see her maybe once a month, once every two months. And I remember bringing her home for Christmas. And I walked in the door and she had gained so much weight. And my mom said, oh, my Lord, what have you done to that baby? And I said, I don't know. The doctor said if she's hungry, just feed her. And as long as she keeps eating, you just keep feed her, keep, keep feeding her. And it was so funny because... I had never really even babysat kids. So when I had my kid, I knew nothing. And um, I just kept feeding her and she got really chunky. <laughs> and then she slimmed down, don't worry. The doctor said it won't hurt a thing. Love the picture of you and your dad in camp by the truck. That was out bear hunting. Thank you, Charlene. That is one of my very favorite pictures with my dad. I have a bunch um, here. This is something I made with um, this frame thing that Stampin' Up! had a while back. And this I made as a tribute to my dad. He was a huge Ford man. Like, everything we owned was Ford. And as a matter of fact, except for the Subaru sitting in our driveway, everything we have is Ford, too, because he really pushed that. But here we are looking um, at a fish locator. He actually went out and bought one for me because my brother-in-law loaned us one, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. That's what I did when we went to North Dakota. I sat on the fish locator and told everybody where the fish were while they fished. And then if they started catching fish, then I would start fishing too. But this was my fun. Here's my dad bringing back a dog that was too tired to run anymore when we were um, bear hunting. 
This is North Dakota fishing. This is just goofing around. This was bear hunting, bear hunting, bear hunting. And what's that one? Uh, this is fishing in North Dakota. And this is in his shed where we were looking intently at something. And I don't even know what it was. But anyways, that's my dad. My dad is no longer with us, but we have a lot of good memories. So what else do I have to tell you? Um, I did not get my room cleaned up. It is what it is. I didn't have time. I've been creating stuff for you guys, so that's more important. And those swap cards I have to get done. So Michael says he has empty scrapbooks just waiting for inspiration. That's good to hear. I might, I might start doing a little scrapbooking again. The, the other thing I wanted to let you know is um, I have a special going starting today. And it's going to run through June 25th. These are our petal pink rhinestone gems, and aren't those just adorable? Love them. Um, when you place a $50 or more order with me between now and June 25th, I will send you a pack of these as a gift. So get yourself some beautiful rhinestones. Okay, and we have winners, and you know what? I just realized that I forgot to pick the prizes. Hi, Lisa Kashevsky. Um, hang tight. I have to grab prizes. Okay. And here we go. I picked the people who would win, but I forgot to do the prize thing. So I need to get some post-it notes because I have no memory. That's what happens when you get old and takes medication that really screws with your memory. <laughs> um, we have Suzette Lewis. Suzette, you are watching. And you are my winner for commenting on last week's Facebook Live. I am going to send you this stamp and pierce mat. This is the little mat that I cover with paper and I stamp on it. And everybody should be stamping on a little cushion like this. So hi, Debbie. Hi, Ginger. This is for you. So let me write that down, Suzette. I don't know. I was goofing around fixing my blog. I forgot to put the dimensions on it for those vellum cards, um, the faux vellum cards. And so I was messing with that and I forgot to pick out my prizes. And then, oh, who's going to be super excited here? Kay Ackers of Boise, Idaho. By the way, Suzette was from Livonia, Georgia. And this is for Kay is going to win the Thank You Thinlet. And let me show you this. Well, I think I, uh, it's, it's buried in there. I'll pull it out. This is super, super cool. And we're using it tonight. Oh, it's backwards. It's, oh, look, it's right. Is it right, you guys? Because it's right when I look in my screen here. Um, the Thank You Thinlets. This is going out to Kay Ackers in Boise, Idaho. Kay is a winner for sharing my um, Facebook Live last week. So that's pretty exciting. And last but not least, we have Heather Kohler. Heather's watching. Heather, you're a winner. And you are going to win the Lots of Love stamp set. This is a fabulous stamp set. There's a ton of ideas out there using this one. So let me put Heather's name on that. And whew, whew, I made it. I really kind of messed up there. Sorry, you guys, and thank you for your patience with that. I just completely, I was so worried about picking my winners, I forgot to pick the prizes. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to show you a hostess code in just a minute when I turn over my camera. And please remember to use the host code when you're placing an online order with me. If your order's over $150, don't use the code. Stampin' Up! is going to give you some benefits called Stampin' Rewards. Um, you will still get special perks from me if you if you don't use the host code with your over $150 order. But I just wanted to let you know, if your order's under $150, definitely use the host code. And people ask me, why do you want us to, what is that code all about? If you place an order in my online store, like if you have a party, people place orders and the hostess gets all that credit like okay now she's up to 200 now she's up to 225 now she's up to 300 and she gets stamp and rewards based on her total well if if somebody places a $50 order on my on my online store 
there's nobody gets any credit for that. I mean, I get paid because you're placing an order through me, but nobody gets any credit for that. So if everybody uses that host code that I've created, all that credit goes towards being able to provide you and my team with all these products that I'm giving away. So yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, um, let's see. I think we're gonna start stamping. Um, I think I told you everything I wanted to tell you. And once again, before I forget, because I, you know, I get rattling on 100 miles an hour, I just wanna thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in to me. Thank you for your support and your kindness and all your wonderful, wonderful comments. Um, this is my dream job. And without all of my customers, my people that follow me, even if you're a demonstrator and you're not ordering from me, by being here, watching my Facebook Live, you are, you are contributing to my success. And I really wanna thank you for that because I'm taking my mom to Alaska next month and I wouldn't be able to do that without my fabulous customers and my wonderful following, right? So I just wanted to make sure that you know how much I appreciate you. And thanks, Jamie, for loving my YouTube channel. And Michael, thank you for thank you for being so thoughtful. I really appreciate it. Okay, I have some really, really cool cards. You guys know that I am a complete nut about fun folds, right? I mean, if you haven't gathered that yet, I'm telling you, I am. I am just a nut. Um, I love fun folds. And I'm gonna flip my camera over right now. I'm gonna unplug it. Because when my, I don't know, you guys have an iPhone, when your phone is plugged in, can you not do things on your screen? Like if I were to push and try to go to my alarm clock, it, it takes me all over to weird places if I have it plugged in. So I'm wondering if something's wrong with my phone that it does that. So I'm going to unplug you. I'm going to flip you over and hang on, I just got something in my eye. Um, if you... Arla says, I always get a kick out of how you can get everything done by the seat of your... I do get everything done. I was up till 2.30. I got all this stuff done and I'm ready to rock. But you know what I found? I found that if I do these cards too much in advance, when I'm trying to show you how to make them, I'm just a complete cluster. Like I am messing up everything because I take... You guys know I had breast cancer, I don't know, a couple years ago. I'm fine now. But... um the medication I'm taking has really messed with my memory. So it's very challenging, let's say that. And I'm working with it. But um, so if I do my cards too much ahead of time, I am just a complete cluster. So if I do them like the night before, or even this morning, and I knew I'd have family here all day, so I didn't want to be in my office while all my family was outside playing, right? Um, so yeah, I do fly by the seat of my pants. And thank you, Linda, you're so sweet. Okay, I, I'm going to flip you around. If you're motion sickness, if you have that, close your eyes. I'll tell you when to open them again. I've got to get this camera set up so we're ready to roll. So hang tight. You can see my beautiful, look at my ceiling fan. I lost another bulb. This one doesn't work at all. That one burned out. And um, I really need to get a new ceiling fan. And my husband even said, you need a new ceiling fan. So maybe we'll get that soon. Okay, I'm gonna set you down for a second while I adjust my stand. Okay, here we go. And my daughter Haley told me that I need to zoom in some more and I know you guys have said that, but it's hard to zoom in too much because then I've only got like a tiny little window to work with. Oh, and you guys can open your eyes now. <laughs> um, I've got such a tiny little window to work with that I don't have enough space, so that's why I can't zoom in so much. That's why you can go and check out all these projects. Every Tuesday, I post to my blog the projects that I make on my Facebook Live. So you can go find them there and see beautiful pictures of them. Um, they won't be too far away or grainy or fuzzy or whatever. You'll find be beautiful pictures there and also all the dimensions so that you don't have to worry about. How, I wonder how big that layer is that she's using. Okay, this is our first card. Um, where did it go? We are going to be using the animal outing again. And I'm only doing one card with it, but this particular stamp set fit the card that I wanted to make for you. 
So I'm also using the one and a quarter inch and the one and three eighths inch. This is a circle punch. This is that little scallop punch. And then my animal friend's Thin Lids came. I got this stamp set at the Milwaukee Stampin' Up! On Stage event, and it was a free set that I got there. I think I maybe won Prize Patrol. I don't remember. Maybe we all got that one. Um, see, there's where that memory thing comes in. Everybody who went with me, they know how they got this. I do not. So <laughs> it just, it is what it is, right? Um, and look at all these fun little elements. So... I love this little giraffe patterny thing. That's really cute. You can cut out the kangaroo, the rhinoceros, the giraffe. And then we've got that little frog on a branch right here. And then we've got this really cool thing that I had to play with last night and some fun leaves. So let me show you guys what I made with this. Get this stuff out of my way here. I need to bring in. Did you guys get yourself a chamois yet? If you haven't ordered one of these, they're selling like hotcakes. I sold a ton this last week. Everybody is super impressed with them as well as me. So if you don't have a chamois for cleaning your stamps yet, got to get yourself one. It's super cool. Okay, here we go. Now, I got my little cheat sheet here so I can tell you what these dimensions are. I am using a um, soft suede card base. And I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. Oh, I gotta watch my questions. Darn it, I forget to do that. Okay. Suzette just ordered the chamois. Yay! And the animal outing. Good for you. Um, Shirlene says she loves the chamois too. Excellent. So I'm going to score this. This is four and a quarter by 11. I'm gonna score this. I almost cut it. <laughs> I'm gonna score this. Who's done that? Who has gone to score something and cut it? I have done that more times than I care to even share with you. I'm going to score this at five and a half, and then I'm going to put this in my paper trimmer, and I am going to go from my five and a half inch score line up to this very corner. So I'm just gonna put this so that that meets up with the channel, and this end meets up right in that channel. And I gotta make sure that I get it straight here because otherwise the card will be real goofy. And make sure I have my scoring blade. It's the lighter of the two. So I've got a score here. And I've got a score here. Does anybody know what we're making yet? <laughs> I'm excited about this one. All right, um, other layers. I have a scrap. Is this a scrap? Why do I have that? Hang on, I gotta look at things. Oh yeah, a scrap of pool party and whisper white. So we got both of those. Then I have a piece of white that's two and a half by two and a half and an extra one here just in case I mess up. <laughs> and then um, pool party that is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. A scrap of old olive. And then this is the Animal Expedition Designer Series paper. This was four by five and a quarter and I put it in my paper cutter and cut it directly in half. We're going to use this bottom piece right here. And now I have to show you this stinking adorable paper you guys. So this is the piece that I'm using. It has the little flying birds and they're um, they are the same bird that is on the rhinoceros's horny thing. <laughs> what is that called? I don't know. I can't think of it. Thank you, Tammy, for sharing. I really appreciate it. Cindy had storms. Oh, my gosh. I hope that, yeah, it looks like everything's okay there. We had storms yesterday, but they kind of missed us. They sprinkled a little bit and looked really nasty. So this is the back, and isn't that just fun and colorful? And then we have the frog on all these little branches and some green herringbone. Look at this paper. Oh, hang on. This is stinking adorable. And if you look on the page where this animal outing bundle is, you'll find um, they have a framed picture and there's a sloth. And that's where the sloth is coming from, is right here in this designer series paper. But there's lizards, these fun little birds, the sloth. I love, love, love this paper. It's so cute. So, and then the back of it is like giraffe African pattern. So that's fun. Let me keep going here. Here is just some smaller print. 
So we've got, oops, hang on, that's smaller too. We've got big print, big animals, and then little animals. Love this. And on the back of that is some orange pattern paper. We've already looked at that one. We've already looked at this one. Oh, look at this. Look at how stinking cute is that? Just a little hippopotamus with their nose sticking up and a butterfly on the nose. That's cute. And then some, this is our basic gray. So that's a neat pattern. Am I still in my camera? See how hard that is? I hope you guys are seeing this okay. I think you are. And then, and I meant see how hard this is. If I zoom my camera in too much, it gets kind of tricky for me to be in that frame. Look at these guys. They're hysterical. In the back, love this. This is kind of like tiki, you know, like a tiki bar has those totem poles from African totem poles. Yeah, that's, you know what I mean. Okay, so there's our really cool paper. And let's get on with our card here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my piercing mat that I just gave one to Suzette. Yay, Suzette! And my stamp set, and I've got Memento Black Ink here. And, I, you know, I'm just in love with the rhinoceros. I thought I should do a kangaroo or something else, and I went, nah, I'm going to do the rhinoceros. Because it's my card, and I can put on it what I want, right? <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, and then I colored these in real nice and quick with my Stampin' Blends. I've had a lot of people asking me, um, the new colors, Stampin' Up's new colors are not available yet in the Stampin' Blends. They did not make it into our warehouse when the catalog went live. It is, they sh Stampin' Up said that they should be available at the beginning, or I'm sorry, in the middle of June, and we are kind of in the middle of June right now, so we're expecting them any minute to come in. So I'm just going to color the ground green, and then I'm coming in, that was Old Olive by the way, this is Daffodil Delight, then I'm coming in with um, Light Smoky Slate, and this was Light Old Olive, Light Smoky Slate, I like to go around this horn with the smaller end because I've been having trouble getting gray on it, so I thought I'd better use the smaller end and we'll be okay there. I don't know why my hand seems really shaky tonight. I did not even have any caffeine today. I've been having one Pepsi a day. It is my, it is my, like you guys wake up and you have coffee and you can't live without it. That's kind of the way Pepsi is for me. And um, I've been having one Pepsi a day, but I didn't even have Pepsi today and I feel kind of jittery. I wonder why that is. We had good food today. Rather than grill, because it was going to be so hot, we had Sloppy Joe's and a couple pasta salads, a uh, um, oriental salad. That was good. What else did we have? I can't even remember. Um, the kids brought some, some like chips and, oh, I cut up a watermelon. That was delicious. Oh, we had cheesy hash browns. So we did crock pot stuff today because it was going to be so hot. Okay, so here is our rhinoceros. <laughs> Can I say that word right? Rhinoceros. And um, I'm going to deal with him in just a minute. I thought this little deal would look super duper cute on the front of my card. And I had to try it out because I didn't really know what it would do. Because it's a little different. So let me make sure I got my big shot in here. Make sure you guys can see this. And I am going to open up my card and I'm going to put my little leafy deal right here. So it's above the diagonal score line. And I love all these little elements. Especially when Stampin' Up! has a framelit or a thinlet that isn't in the stamp sets. Like, like the giraffe pattern that's in this one too. I just think that's super, super cool. Oh, and we're going to take our scrap right here. I could have run this through at the same time, but I wasn't thinking because I was talking too much. <gasps> I know that's shocking, right? Yeah. My husband and I went for a bike ride last night. Oh my gosh, we went to this little country bar and um, we had tenderloin steak sandwiches and french fries. Yeah, I ate them. Not all of them, though. And um, 
The tenderloin steak sandwiches were amazing. Our entire bill, are you guys ready? Especially guys in the East Coast or that live in bigger metropolitan areas where things are really expensive. Our bill was $14. Two tenderloin steak sandwiches, delicious, and french fries. $14. Amazing. But that was really fun. And then while I was on the back of the bike with him, he told me, he kind of like went, stop screwing around back there. You're screwing around. And I'm like, I am sitting here like a statue. I'm not doing anything. So we need to do something about that because I don't know what was going on there. But he thought I was goofing around on the back of the bike. And of course that would make the bike move around, but I wasn't doing anything. I was being a good little statue. <laughs> Last week when we went for a ride, I was screwing around and... <laughs> but not this time. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that cool? Let me put some white behind it. So it cuts out some of the leaves and then it, um, these are actually cut. Oh, oh, hang on. Some of these are cut all the way. Some of them are not like this one right here. Look at that little leaf that stays in there and you can kind of push it up a little bit so that it gives it a little more dimension. Yep. This is very cool. We had a framelit set like this a couple of years ago that I made a really cute box out of it and this went down the edge of the box. Loved it. Um, oops, that one has to come out. There we go. So isn't that neat? I just love that. Oh, Becky, the name of the bar was The Roundabout, I think. And it was on um, Highway 55 and Calumet, the corner right there. The food was really, really good. And it was super cheap and it was a nice place. Like it wasn't like a hole in the wall bar, which I'm not, ooh, I'm not opposed to going to hole in the wall bars either. So just know that. Yep. Sometimes I can be a little trashy right along with everybody else. <laughs> no, I will go to little bars. I think the best fish fry I've ever had is at the Wishing Well in Appleton. And that is kind of a little hole in the wall bar. Okay, so this just gets glued right on there. We have that, where's my bone folder? This is called an, um, an easel card, and I think it's called an easel card with a twist or something like that, I don't even know. But I'm gonna show you the swap card that I got and why I made this, because it was so cool. Now, I'm going to put my rhinoceros right in the middle here, and that means that I can't put any adhesive up there. So I'm just gonna go right there like that, and then I'm gonna place my rhino right in here. And we have just a couple more things to do because this is super cute too. Here's my scrap of Whisper White. I'm going to use the words, thank you big time. And of course you could use whatever words you want, you know, depending on what kind of card you're making and what kind of card you need. And then I've got the branch with the little frog guy on it. And I'm just going to do my best to kind of come right in here and put that little frog there. Now let's see if I got him close enough. Oh look, I have black ink on my hands. That's shocking, right? Hi Michelle, I'm so glad you're here tonight. Oh, thank you Heather, we have 134 watching. That's awesome, that always just floors me. And yep, look at that. So here's what I'm doing. I've just got that little frog in there. Isn't he super cute? And then we're going to color them in just a little bit. And I should probably put my readers on. I went to the eye doctor. Did I tell you guys this? I went to the eye doctor and got new contacts. So now I'm wearing contacts in both eyes. And then I'm going to order from um, the glasses store some new readers with prescription in it. So in case I don't have my glasses on, I can um, still see up close. No, what I meant is... I don't have my contacts in. When we get done here, remind me to tell you about the bra story because I kind of went off on a tangent and never really finished that. And I know Michael's on here, but he'll get a big kick out of this too. Okay, we are going to punch a one and three eighths inch scallop. And we're gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of our thank you big time froggy dude. Hey, you guys, we named Frank the octopus. What are we going to call this little guy? He's like my favorite. What do you think he looks like? Becky, were you the one that named him Frank? The octopus Frank? I can't remember who did that. Okay, dimensional on the back of the scallop. 
And then here we go. Are you ready for this? You're going to put this right here. This sits up and props right on there. How stinking cute is this? You've got the seat through here. I just, I think this is just adorable. Now, if you wanted to, you could put a layer in here under this, but I really wanted that to pop. And with the soft suede, that white and pool party really does pop. But there is our easel card with a twist. I love this. Okay, let me show you the swap card that I got in the mail that started all of this. And this was from Rhonda Basler. And this uses, again, the abstract impressions, which I have an online class for, but check this out. Isn't that pretty? And of course, when your um, friends and family get it, they can just prop, well, it's hard because I'm holding it, but it just stands up just like that. And she used that same bundle. Very beautiful. I love this stamp set. Okay, I have another one to make here. Let me put some of this stuff away. Um, who I don't want to lose this, do I? Let me get this stuck back in here. What was what else did we die cut? Oh, that long thing. Uh, anybody see? Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. Don't lose these. These are expensive, right? Oh, that's not gonna stay in there. Hang on just a second. Um, what is this? This is this, this is this. I'm gonna dump these back in the bin that they came out of. I don't know if I need those again, so I'll just hang on to those. And we've got another brand new stamp set to play with. <gasps> this goes with the thank you thinlet that I just gave away to, who won that? Us. Uh, um, 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 um. Let me look on my list here. Uh, Kay Ackers, I think. You won this. So this is the stamp set that goes with it. And I love stamp sets like this that have a lot of greetings in them. And then those little elements to decorate them up. And I especially love this hash thing here. But the card that we're going to make did not use that hash thing. So just know that. I'll make one in the future with the hash thing. So we've got some really bold, bright colors coming up here. Oh, did I use the hash thing? No, I didn't use the hash thing. It's in here, but I didn't use it. And, oh, you know what? Where did my envelope go? Here it is. I forgot to stamp an envelope up with our rhinoceros. So I'll um, put that in the bin and I will stamp that. Okay, so here's what I did. Let me pull out my layers here. And a black layer. How's everybody doing? Did I miss any questions? You guys know I get on a roll here and then I forget to look at my screen. I know I'm kind of goofy like that. Let me pop this up so that it's bigger. Oh, I can see more when I do that. Okay. Um, we have Lemon Lime Twist. And again, I am making another um, Twisted Easel card. I think that's what these are called. Twisted Easel card. So I've got four and a quarter by 11, and I'm just gonna put this in here at five and a half, and then I'm going to bring in the score line to my channel and the point up here to my channel. Am I in the screen? Can you guys see me okay? And I'm gonna score that. Okay, I think we're done scoring. And I'm gonna give this a good burnish with my bone folder. That's an English word, I think, because I heard the um, English demonstrator saying that when I was watching their videos, and it sounded super funny. And then I started talking English, like my daughter sometimes will talk British. <laughs> it's super funny. And um, I started talking that way. And then I found out I had a whole bunch of people from the UK watching me. So yeah, that was kind of funny. Okay. Whisper White, Basic Black, Berry Burst Scraps, and then I've got a layer for the inside here, and we can put that in right away, because we're not gonna stamp on it. I did try to stamp the hashtag um, stamp that's right here, on here, all around the outside edge, and well, that just didn't work out. So, I know you guys think that all this stuff really comes easily to me, but um, there's lots of things that I throw away, <laughs> and that was one of them. Okay, so I've got that. 
Now I am going to bring this in here and I love, love, love this little daisy flower. Like I am going to be using this constantly. Oh, I'm going to keep this folded for right now. And I am just going to stamp random daisies on the background here. And I'm just kind of making a uh, pattern paper, right? Let's do one more right there. Okay, so that's what I did so far. And I'm gonna clean this off because we're also going to stamp on our scrap. We're gonna do a berry burst flower. Oh, I think I remember if I stamp the so much, and that again comes from this stamp set, little so much. I wanna do the words first because I had a hard time getting the flower and the words to line up when I did the flower first. And that looks really good. And I need to bring those punches back in here. Where did that circle punch go? Right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna punch out. Now, the inside easel part of this card does not have to be a circle. It can be a rectangle like you saw on, um, who made that card? Where did it go? Well, whoever made that other card, you saw it. Here it is. Rhonda Basler, I'm sorry. If Rhonda's watching, I'm super sorry, whoever made that card. It can be a rectangle like this, so um, doesn't have to be a circle, but I just like the circles. So that's what I decided to do. And then I'm gonna do a berry burst circle here, and we're gonna glue this together and get it ready with a dimensional on the back. Okay, so that's ready to roll. Then, we need um, a stitch shape framelit, the oval. We need one of those, and we need to die cut our thank you on the basic black. And through the magic of TV, <laughs> I love saying that, because it's funny. I've already done that. So one thing I wanted to do to my thank you is I wanted to hit it with some Wink Estella because <laughs> why wouldn't you add some bling, right? I wanted to add some bling to this card and this was just a super duper easy way to do that. So now I'll tell you my bra story. So I went upstairs and I was like soaked with sweat and um, before my Facebook Live, and I went and took a shower, and I got out of the shower, and do you know how hard it is to put a sports bra on when you are sticky and sweaty and gross? Like, I had to take it off and try again because I couldn't get it down in the back, and I almost had to come downstairs and ask my husband to please help me with my bra. That's how bad it was. So that was my funny little story. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't even get my bra on. How is this night gonna go? But so far it's going pretty good, isn't it? Okay, so somebody just asked me about these boxes. These are our old wooden stamp cases. Let me show you. I get a lot of questions about that. So, many moons ago, and this is a super old stamp set, lovely as a tree, our stamp cases came in, uh, our wooden stamps came in these cases. And all I did was cut the lid off and put some paper in the bottom, and that's what this is. And I use this for our card buffets and my stamp clubs because I'll mount all the stamps and then I'll keep them in here um, to transport because you don't want to leave these stamps laying around with stuff getting piled on them because it will ruin them. Ask me how I know that. Mm -hmm. Then they're done that. All right, you guys, what you drinking? I've got um, crystal... Is this crystal light? Yeah, uh, raspberry lemonade. Crystal light. I gave up water. I hate water. Water is just sucks the life right out of the joy out of my life. <laughs> okay, when you put glue, whoops, I have a little glue booger here. Hang on, I'm gonna get rid of that. When you put glue on the back of your thank you, and isn't this just like the most elegant thing ever, you guys? It is so so pretty. Um, and this is a single die, so you buy this all by itself. When you put glue on the back of this, I'm not going to put glue all the way to the top and the bottom of these letters because they're going to stick over the top and the bottom of this oval that I'm going to put them on. 
So I just add little bits of glue there, and you'll see what I'm talking about right now. <gasps> Look at how pretty. Can you see the Wink of Stella? Ah! Oh, Crystal Light Peach Iced Tea. That sounds really good. I like tea. Dee Dee, you are a good girl drinking water, and Debbie's got LaCroix water. Bless your heart. Yeah, I just can't do it. <laughs> it's just not for me. Okay, then I need a piece of paper, and I think I might have forgotten that I needed a piece of paper. Let me, nope, I got it right here. This is the other side of the one that we used on our rhinoceros card. Okay, so this is the back, and I had to cut this one different. I'm, I shouldn't even say that. So this piece was not from the top here, okay? I had to cut another piece of four by five and a quarter and then cut it diagonally to get this image because it went the wrong way. Does that make sense? I know, sometimes these things are hard to explain. I hope that makes sense. Oh, your husband likes ice mountain sparkling water. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I really am not a water fan at all. I just, I hate it. Like, it is the most boring thing ever. I'm trying to get this margin right over here on my card. And I think I actually cut my card not straight. So how about that? See how he does things like that. Okay, there we go. That looks good. All right, and then I'm going to put this right in the middle. So I need to keep my glue right over here in the back of this part right here. And I'm going to set this right in the middle of my card. And then we're going to put in our so much because it says thank you on the front and then so much right there. Are you guys ready? Ta-da! Look at that. Isn't that just the cutest? Love, love, love this. And I love this stamp set. This was in my first new catalog order because I need a lot of thank you cards, obviously. And by the way, I'm really far behind on sending out thank you cards to um, for online orders so just know that that it is like a chihuahua biting on my heels every single day going get the cards made get the cards made get the cards made so I'm going to be on that very soon um okay so there is our second little easel card that is so darn cute are you guys ready for something else now yeah, don't forget to share my video. I really appreciate it. I think we had over 100 shares from my video last week, you guys, and I am just overwhelmed by that number. I looked at, um, when I was looking for the winners from last week, I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Nope, not kidding. That's huge. Okay, I have another super fun card. This is also a fun fold because you guys, you know that I'm kind of a nut. Oh, you know what? Where did my envelope go? Right here. Let's get, let's get this back here. I need to decorate my envelope because who doesn't like getting a fun, cute little envelope in the mail? And I'm just going to put a few flowers on it and that'll work just fine. It's something and it's cute, right? So I'm going to set that back over there. Oh, this is, this is just so, so, so pretty. Here comes our next card. Hang on a second because I got stuff sticking in my little bag here. <gasps> Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here's our envelope so I won't hopefully forget to do that. We're going to use some rhinestone. And... Hang on, I'm cleaning up a little bit here, so I got some room to work. We're going to use the same thank you stamp set. Where did that go? We're still using this. We're gonna use blueberry bushel, which I call blueberry buckle because that was baby food. Somebody reminded me when my daughter was little, there was blueberry buckle baby food. That's exactly why I remember it that way. Okay, here we go. We are ready. Let me see, where's my card so I know what I'm doing? <clears throat> okay, here we go. I said that already, didn't I? 
Now, um, this is just a scrap. So I've got a scrap of Me Mango Melody. I've got the Garden Impressions Designer Series paper here. This is five and a quarter by four. And then when you cut that, you're left with a two inch piece over here. This is the two inch by four. I cut it to four, so two inch by four. And then I've got a Whisper White Thick card base. And if you use these, you know that you need to score them. They are thick, like thick card stacks. So you can't just fold them in half, even when it's a, you know, a short card like this. You can't do that. Okay. You know, Diane, I am in love with Mango Melody too. Um, everything about it just screams happy to me. It is so stinking beautiful, right? Okay. First thing I'm going to do, and this is kind of a little unusual, I am going to glue this paper on the inside of my card. Yep, the inside. Should I get it straight here? Oh, it's so, so pretty. Then we're going to do just a little bit of stamping. And I'm using Blueberry Buckle. <laughs> and the You Are The Best. There we go. And then I'm going to stamp the friend word, all again from a big thank you stamp set. I'm gonna, oops, I've got blue ink on me. Hang on, I don't wanna wreck anything. Stamp friend right down here. Where's my scissors? I'm gonna use my snips. Oh yeah, you know what? I did, the branch is right here. So thank you for telling me that, Mary. I'm gonna bring that card back in in just a second. Let me get this finished. And um, we will use that branch. Thank you for telling me that. I am, s it got lost on my desk. So I'm just going to take this little friend. You guys are so observant. I need you as an assistant. That's what I need. <laughs> and I'm going to glue this right under you are the best. And that just adds a really nice pop of color. Something just a little bit different, right? And then we are going to, oh, I'm going to add this layer. Oh, no, we're going to wait on that. I'm going to die cut a butterfly out of the Mango Melody. And was there anything else? Um, the thank you. Where did my thank you go? Did you guys see that? Mm, thank you. It's here someplace. Here it is. Thank you. I'm going to die cut both of these out of my Mango Melody scrap. And of course, just like magic, <laughs> here it is. And then I've also got my butterfly. And I wanted to make sure if I've got anybody new watching, I wanted to use the Big Shot die brush because it's amazing. And I hate poking out all these little things, right? And you can just use this brush and boom. They are history. Got that one trying to hang in there. Just like that. Love this die cut brush. It comes with the brush and the foam pad. And I keep, this is actually the box that came in and I just dump off the little bits and put it all back in here and set it over on my shelf for next time. Blueberry buckle was one of your dad's favorite desserts, Shelby. Yep, I, somebody told me that was a dessert too, but I am most familiar with it from when Haley was a baby because they had blueberry buckle as a baby food dessert thing. And if I recall correctly, she didn't like it. So, um, yeah, and is she watching tonight? She's the pickiest eater ever. She doesn't like anything. Well, I shouldn't say that. I love her. <laughs> if you're watching Haley, I love you. She knows she's picky. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue. Now we don't need to worry about getting it close to the top or close to the bottom here, but I'm going to bring this in right here. And I'm gonna stick that right on the inside of the card. Now what's happening out here? I've got my butterfly and I've got this little piece of two inch by four and a quarter, that's four and a quarter, um, DSP. And I want to put my butterfly right in the middle of that, but I am going to 
make sure that my butterfly is going to fit inside an envelope, right? I don't want my butterfly wings sticking off over there. So I wanted to make sure where I was putting this is going to be okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I could measure from the edge and that would be probably a lot easier, but uh, why would I want to make anything easy? <laughs> it really would be easier. Okay, here's this layer. Oh, and I cut it pretty darn good, so it's not really sticking over the top there. Now, the Lakeside Framelits has this little element for like your greetings, and it has this element. Lakeside Framelits goes with the Lily Pad Lake, the stork stamp set with that big blue hair on, and the sailboats, and the lily pad, and the little water things. So that's where I'm getting this framelit from. I am going to... Hang on, let me get my big shot back in here. I am going to run this through both layers on my card. So it's going through the designer series paper layer and my thick white card base. And I'm just kind of moving it around here to get it straight. Where's my other plate? Oh, of course, Kelly. Don't you hate that when you get everything lined up and realize that the plate you need is underneath what you're doing? Dang it. Like, oh. And now we're going to play games with the polar thing. If that ever happens, just take your die and move it to a completely different place on your um, magnetic platform and it'll stop doing that. I think we've got it centered here. So we're going to run that through. I didn't drop it. Yay, winning! Here we go. This comes right out. Now, here's the super cool part. We're going to take this butterfly and we are going to hold on to the body and bend up those wings a little bit and hold on to this part, this side of the body and bend up those wings a little bit. And now I'm going to put some glue just on the body of the butterfly and I'm going to place that right in the middle of our die cut, just like that. Then we have some rhinestones here, and when in doubt, add bling. So I've got the biggest rhinestone, a little smaller one, and one of the smallest ones. And I'm just gonna add some bling to my butterfly body, and then I decided that I wanted a little bit more bling on my card, so I'm just going to add in three random, whoops, whoops, that one stuck to my finger, three little random rhinestones on there, and are you ready for this coolest thing ever? The card opens up like that. I know, ah, look at that, oh, that is just too darn cool, isn't it? Now this was something they showed us at on stage last November. Was it in November? No. Yeah, I think it was last November when we were in Salt Lake City. This was a technique, a fun fold that they showed us at on stage. And that's one of the cool things about on stage is you get to learn some really new cool stamping stuff. Sometimes revisit old stuff that you forgot about. But what do you guys think? Thank you, I know, it's really awesome, isn't it? Now, you can do this with this butterfly. You can also do this with our dragonfly. The Dragonfly Dreams has a um, set of finlets. You can do that with this too. And I think they use the watercolor wings, which is retired now, but oh my gosh. So when your, when your friend or your family member gets this, they're gonna go like that. Oh, they're gonna go, oh my gosh, how cool was that, right? It's just so neat. Love, love, love. Okay, now let's go back to this little leaf that I didn't do anything with. And, um, oh, I didn't do anything with it. Oh, I know what I did with it. Like, what did I do with that? It was nothing like completely crazy, but I just took and put a little bit of glue on the back of the leaf with a rhinoceros card, and I just kind of stuck it right in there. 
and that's it's just a nice neat little embellishment but look how fine it is it's a very fine little leaf all right and oh my gosh it's 808 I'm doing so good aren't I <laughs> I mean time wise I'm doing really good because sometimes I know I get a little long-winded and then I worry if I'm like you're going oh my gosh can she ever just shut up <laughs> so here we go thank you with the thank you thinlet you can buy these together as a bundle and save 10 percent this is a big thank you and then I also used the animal outing um stamp set for this one let me get some of this junk cleaned up let me put this away before I lose it you guys know how that will go over oh I have one more thing to show you I thought I was done but I'm not so we're gonna bring this back in here and where did my envelope go right here and here's my mango melody and then a sponge oh that's not the right envelope this is the right envelope so I took this thinlet we used this last time um, and I used it on my scrapbook pages page and I just cut it out of plain copier weight paper I see there was still a couple little things stuck in here um, and I ran it through the big shot and then I put it in the um, the die the big shot die brush and you know did that and get all the little bits and pieces out this is what I'm gonna do with it I am going to lay it down as a mask on my envelope <gasps> isn't this gonna be cool I hope it turns out <laughs> sometimes things don't always turn out if you watched my video this last week I think you found out some things are kind of a disaster. I had a um, video, mm, Friday, my Friday video, I think I had kind of a disaster and had to start over and I just left it in the video. Lots of times I would edit that stuff out because the problem is it's not so much that I don't want you guys to see that I'm making mistakes. It's that videos that are longer take a ton of time to upload to YouTube. If your video is shorter, it uploads better. And if you don't have enough subscribers, you're not allowed to upload a video more than 15 minutes. So thank goodness I've got enough subscribers. If you're not subscribed to me on YouTube, go subscribe and up your, you can up my subscription numbers because that's a big, that's a big thing too. That's a great way to help me out if you're a demonstrator and you, um, you're not ordering obviously because you're a demonstrator but um, you can help me out by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, I'm not sure that I really wanted to do this part of my envelope because now it's kind of all meh. But anyways, I wanted you, are you ready? Look at how pretty that is. I do kind of like this. And now you have this envelope and you can write right here. You can write right over this with the address of the person you're sending it to, right? <gasps> I think that's so pretty. So that's just a little masking technique. And it's a neat way to decorate. I know, Leanne, I know. Never thought of sponging on your envelope, but isn't that pretty? Yeah, cool idea, right? Okay, this is what we have. We have this with a cute envelope. Where'd that other envelope go? We've got this uh, with a cute envelope. I'm gonna stamp up an envelope to make this cute. And then this was the card that I got from Rhonda Basler in a swap that was just what inspired me to make these other two cards. So you guys, this is the end of my stamping for you tonight, but I do have some designer series paper that I can show you. If you would like to see it, I can do that. Um, I don't think a pat, I don't think you'd have any problem with this at all because if you use a black pen on this envelope, Pat said that my post office is fussy about how much you can put on the envelope. I think that writing right on here, they're not going to have any issue with that because your writing is really going to be pronounced on a pretty like peachy yellow background like this. I think you're going to be okay with that. Um, I have the Graceful Glass designer series vellum pack thanks Elaine I'm going to show you and this is so pretty so this is all printed 
vellum and what you do with this you can do whatever you want with it of course but you can color on the back of this and our I believe our stamp and blends I haven't I haven't yeah our stamp and blends color beautifully on the back of this paper and of course it gives it a stained glass look and isn't this look at this <gasps> beautiful these are so so pretty and you can use it like this I'd use as a like a background on a page color in some of those little triangles look at the wavy the waves on here this is just super super beautiful paper you get two of each two sheets of each design here Well, um, Kathy says that cute stenciled envelope, that would need to be hand-delivered envelope as if it gets caught in the rain, it would be a mess. But you know what, Kathy, that's not something that I would ever really worry about because the other envelope that I just stamped on, what about if that gets caught in the rain? That's going to be a mess too. So I don't, I think I, I'm good with mailing this 100%. I'm fine with mailing that. I don't think you're going to have any problems with it. Oh my gosh, look at the birds. This is the first time I've seen this in real life. I've had it for a week, but I didn't open it yet. These are so, so pretty. Now there's a whole stamp set that goes with this. Look at those gorgeous flowers. Yeah, this is just really, really pretty. I made a card at um, on stage in Milwaukee in April using this one. Oh, so Kathy's saying that she's seen it colored on both sides for different shades of color. That's a great idea. <laughs> nice cat in rain watercolor yeah <laughs> oh how pretty this is gorgeous I'm gonna have to start playing with this very soon okay so that was the graceful glass then I have this little six by six pack of tropical escape and there's a whole stamp set and um, matching framelits Look at these pretty designs. I love the funky back. You know, you've got the leaves that go with the whole stamp set, but then you've got the funky back with the cute designs. This is just really, really pretty paper. Gorgeous. And this is our six by six pack called Tropical Escape. Ooh, this looks like watermelon rind, doesn't it? Yeah. Very, very, very pretty. I love this. There's some black and white pages in here too, and you know how much I love black and white designer series paper. All right, and then here's a, there's a few here that I haven't even opened. I've got the Regals. Now, we've got these six by six packs in all of our color families. And look at, oh, look at that rainbow of color. Isn't that beautiful? So there's polka dots and stripes. And how fun is this? You get two sheets of each. Nope, it looks like four sheets of each color. And these are the regals. I'm not going to struggle with that envelope. I'll put that back when I'm, when I'm done talking to you guys. Yeah, Julie, it's really pretty. Here's our neutrals. And there's that Mary Merlot. Knight of Navy, Soft Suede, Gray Granite, Basic Gray, Crumb Cake, Mossy Meadow, and Early Espresso. Very, very cool. These are gonna be fun to use. <gasps> Subtles, these are so pretty. Here comes the saddles. I know, don't sing, right? <laughs> Keep your day job, Kelly. Look at how pretty they are. I love polka dots and stripes. Who doesn't love polka dots and stripes? There's that sea foam and the Highland Heather and the Balmy Blue, Calypso Coral, and I don't know what pink that is. Probably Blushing Bride. And last but not least, Char says she loves the 6x6 six six papers. Me too. These are the brights. I think the brights are like my favorite colors because I love bright, cheerful stuff. Look at how pretty. Poppy Parade, so glad you're back in my life. Gorgeous grape, love it. This is Melon Mambo. 
Bermuda Bay. There's that mango melody. Coastal Cabana, happy to have you back. There's Blueberry Buckle and Granny Apple Cream. Oh, so pretty. All right, you guys, does anybody have any questions for me? Because that is the end of my presentation. I want to let you guys know that I will not be live next Sunday. We actually are not coming back from Florida until Monday night. And, oh my gosh, we don't fly into Milwaukee until like 1130 at night. They changed our flights coming home. We were supposed to get home at like 930. Now we're coming in at 1130 on Sunday night. Blah. So, no live next week. Um, I will draw prizes. Please share my video. Um, don't forget, with every uh, order over $50, you're going to get a set of these pink, petal pink rhinestones. That promotion runs from today, the 17th through June 25th. So get yourself some petal pink rhinestone gems. These are very cool. And... Uh, what else can I tell you? Share my video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for participating. This is really fun. I feel like I'm getting to know you guys and uh, like we're all friends, right? <laughs> Love it. I really appreciate you watching. Um, wish everyone in your life a happy Father's Day. Give those fathers a big hug. And I think I'm going to sign off now. So you guys have a great Sunday evening, a fabulous couple weeks. Um, I'll try to post some fun pictures on my Facebook page so you can, I don't know, I always like following people along on their vacations. I have um, a cousin who is just in, I think, Italy, and I loved the pictures she was sharing on Facebook. So I'll try to share some pictures with you. Thank you very much, Charlene. Um, I love that you're watching my Facebook Live. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, Lori. Thanks for the awesome cards um, comment that that makes my day because I really had a lot of fun making these. I wanted to make some more samples, but it was a, just a crazy week and uh, time kind of got away from me there. So hopefully next next Facebook Live, I will have some more samples for you. All right, you guys take care. Bye bye.